guys max is making me wear this gopro on my head <laughs> <laughs> thanks babe good luck <laughs>
All right, so now... Let's go check if it fits in the van. All right, guys, so first step in installing this Max Air fan is we want to get our wooden frame, and then we want to trace this wooden frame exactly where it's going to fit, trace around it, and then once you've traced around that, grab your flange for your Max Air fan. Make that sure sits. that the metal pins are on the outside. Yep. And then... You want to line that up so it fits perfectly where it's going to go drop inside your wooden frame. And then once you've done that, you want to mark one corner like so. And then that's going to act as a guide. So we're going to drill a pilot hole in that one corner. And then we can use that up on the roof as a guide to mark the rest of our holes and uh, mark where our template or our flange is going to sit. And we're just going to use the reference of these lines that run on the roof <laughs> and then we're just going to square it up off that. So, hopefully it turns out all good. <laughs> I'm just going to put my glasses on because I'm drilling upside down here. I don't want no metal fragments getting in my eyes. And we have a hole in our roof. <laughs> yes. So we've just made this little catchment for when we're cutting out the hole on the roof just to catch all the little shards of metal so that it doesn't fall on the bottom. We've used a fitted sheet and we've tied it to the structures of the van and then a little bit of masking tape. Yeah. So we've just made our four holes and the reason why we do that is so we can fit our jigsaw in the holes. You want to make sure you've got a good metal bit on your jigsaw. And another thing too is I've taken the metal plate off the jigsaw only because it's not flat and I've got these undulations here and I can run this little bearing here along the line. Another reason why we put the tape here is so we don't scratch the, the roof. Once we cut it, it doesn't fall down into the van. And it stops the flapping. So it makes me cut it easier. Otherwise, it's just going to be flapping against the jigsaw. Hey. Looks like our sheet worked too with catching all the uh, filings. Oh! Yeah! Because this is exposed steel, we're using this rust guard epoxy enamel, which is a top coat. So with this rust guard enamel, you don't have to prime because it's actually a primer and top coat all in one. And I'm just going to use a little brush like this, just a foam brush. Foam brush. All right, I'm doing it, guys, because I can't touch the camera. I've got all paint all over my hands, and I don't want to get it all over the camera. So we swap spots, and we just want to make sure we get this all on the exposed metal. So that epoxy is dry now, and now what we need to do is we need to fix our wooden frame to our hole that we cut out. And what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is hit it with a bit of 240 to roughen, roughen it all up, and that's gonna give us the best adhesion possible for when we mount this to the ceiling. Alright, 
so we have fixed our wooden frame to the ceiling of our van and we have used seven clamps and lucky we cut cut all the contours perfectly um, and then that's just fitting nice and snug so now we're just going to let that set so we've let our liquid nails set overnight and now we're going to remove the clamps hopefully the roof doesn't lift off the uh the wooden frame <laughs> it shouldn't though because we cut the wooden frame to fit the contours of the roof so let's oh yeah here we go Ooh. oh that is good that's solid all right let's get the all right, top on now let's get on the roof <laughs> We're going to need butyl tape and what we're going to do with the butyl tape is we're going to layer it So where it dips down here, we're going to do a couple of layers and then so what we want is to have all our butyl tape So it makes a flat Even surface with the highest point. Yeah, so then we've got some scissors to cut the butyl tape this fits nice and snug There we go. Look at that all right, so we're gonna put butyl tape down. Once we put the butyl tape down, we are gonna put marine grade Sikaflex on top of the butyl tape. Now with this stuff is it doesn't go hard. It remains soft. And it's, it's elastic. Movement. It's vibration yeah. resistant, joint seal, whatever you use, you don't want it to go hard and then crack because if it goes hard and cracks, that's gonna create a gap and you're gonna get water leaks. Uh, we've got drill. And we've got our screws to screw the max uh, air fan in um, and then also once we finish we're just gonna put a bead of sikaflex around the edges of our flange so that's pretty much it We left the butyl tape in the fridge overnight and apparently that helps with, um, I think it's just so it's not too sticky. Out there? Mm, one second. Yeah. Perfect. So we put down our butyl tape mm. and what we've had to do is we've had to build it up in layers where the, all the low spots were. Now, this is probably the lowest spot and I reckon we, we did Oh, I reckon eight layers <laughs> and this has only got two so eight layers two layers and there's about six or seven on this side um, what you want to do is you want to build it up when the low spots so everything is flat and that's pretty much as flat as we could get it um, also when you're doing it say if you put a strip here and then a strip there the next time you do your second layer you want to overlap it the other way um, and that way you're always doing a crisscross pattern and you ensuring that there won't be a gap there because if there's a gap then that's a potential leak spot all right so now we're going to install this it's the uh the flange and you want to make sure that these clips here are running on either side that's the wrong way to install it so it's got to be like that so we're gonna first of all actually we're going to put some sicker down So I'm going to put a pilot hole in first before I screw the screws in and that way it's going to make sure that the wood doesn't crack and the screw is going to go in nice and snug. So we're just getting our butyl tape and we're just making like a tiny little string and then we're going to put it on the inside of the screw like that. And that's just going to give us some more protection yeah, yeah, yeah from the from from water leaks because where the screw holes are they're potential places it can leak so 
I see, and that's what the guys do on boats and yachts with anything that they screw down. So if they do it, I'm gonna do it. Also, when you're screwing down, you wanna do like a crisscross pattern. You don't wanna start screwing all down on one side because it will lift and you wanna give it even tension. So I'll start at one corner, then do the other corner, then opposites. So we had to go to Bunnings and we had to get some longer screws. This screw is actually too short because you got to add an extra, you know, 10, 15 mil. And when I was screwing down these screws, they weren't actually biting into my wooden frame. So I've now bought some longer screws, pan head screws, so the water drips off them. And they should now fix into my wooden frame. I also got stainless steel screws. Now stainless steel is excellent because it doesn't rust and when it rains um, we don't want our screws rusting so stainless steel is the way to go also when we've just fixed our our normal sides down here that aren't built up we um our butyl tape spilt out off the edge of the flange but you and want. that's what you want and that's how you know it's nice and tight and secure to your roof and then we're just using this tool here it's like a plastic tool and we're just <clears throat> kneading, neatening up the edge um, and just stripping away the excess butyl on the sides. I've done this side here and then we can run a bead of Sikaflex, a nice neat bead of Sikaflex along here. So now we've screwed our screws in and the butyl tapes underneath the flange. We're just going to neaten up this edge here and we're going to use some Sikaflex Marine Adhesive 291. Now I've cut my nozzle on an angle and that's going to allow me to cork it better. And we've put the tape down so we get a nice neat edge when we take the tape off. So, here we go. So smooth. So I'm taking the masking tape off now and we've used the masking tape to mask the area that we wanted to Sikaflex and the reason why you want to mask the area that you want to Sikaflex is one, it makes it look really really neat and two, um, if you don't want Sikaflex going on certain areas then you can mask it off. So that there is what it looks like. Whoa, pretty neat. Now, you can see some of the edges have lifted up and what you do is you get soapy water, put a little bit of dishwashing detergent in and water and because if I'm to if I was to touch the Sikaflex, it would just stick to my hands, it's like goo, goo. But if you get soapy water, rub your hands in it. Make sure it's soapy. See that there? See how it's oh. not sticking to my hands? And look at that, it's closing up that seal. Genius. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Alright, so we're about to install our Max Air fan. Now we want to make sure it's facing the right way. So you want to have the back end highest up at the back so it's not catching the wind when you're driving. Do not fit it the wrong way around. Also, you want to have your wires out and hanging down through your hole. And the third tip is see these metal clips here. It's easier to get your fan on if you just pop these up slightly. There we go. That one's up there. And then pop this one up as well. Voila, we have a Max Air Fan Deluxe. 
So the good thing about these compared to the other fans on the market is it's got this hood and it's a rain cover. And what that enables you to do is you can have your fan open even when it's raining and no water will get in. Whereas the other fans, if it rains and you don't have like say water sensors or something and you're sleeping at night, water's gonna get in your van. So they're a little bit more expensive, but totally worth it in my opinion because you can have these open 24 7 rain hail or shine and you're getting ventilation and you're not getting wet inside the van this was the easy one to install <laughs> only one more to go at least well we know done. what to do now yeah like yeah so we Isn't know exactly yeah yeah and it fits good we might do a water test tomorrow but i'm pretty confident yeah. that this thing yeah. is watertight. Look at those finishes.